That, believe it or not, is the sound many people heard overnight as a ruptured gas line affects Benton Township. Good afternoon, I'm Bob Montgomery. It's still not clear what caused the rupture about 2 o'clock this morning. The line is now isolated. The gas is shut off. WSBT's Denise Bone joins us now live from Benton Center and Empire. Denise, hundreds of people had to leave their homes. The big question now is, when are they coming back? Bob, we just talked with Benton Township Chief Vince Fedke, and he says right now they're not sure when uh, neighbors will be allowed back into their homes. But he uh, did tell me some good news in that they've been doing some testing of the air quality in this area, and that so far the readings have been very, very good. So, it, you know, it could be several hours. It could be um, less. They just don't know at this point. They're doing their best that they can uh, to make sure that everything is safe for neighbors to return. Um, neighbors say around 1.50 this morning they felt homes and windows shake, heard a loud, frightening sound, uh, something similar to a jet engine. Police say a gas line ruptured at Blue Creek Road and Highland Avenue, forcing more than 500 people to evacuate. You now, officers, firefighters, and other emergency personnel went door to door in the middle of the night to warn people they should leave the area. Oh, it was crazy. Uh, about 10 minutes to 2, it just it sounded like a loud clap of thunder. And then it was just like a, a jet engine, a roar of a jet engine was right outside my window. You know, the, the windows were shaking, the bed was shaking. And they evacuated about a one mile uh, area. And uh, just to let you know, um, the the small town where this occurred is Millburg. It's a very rural area in Benton Township in Berrien County. There's a lot of farms out here. And just at this corner alone, there have been dozen people stopping and asking officers, when can we get back home? And uh, again, we just don't have the answer to that. I did speak with one man who lives along Territorial Road and, and he said in the middle of the night, he heard uh, a loud noise again it sounded like a jet right next to his home he actually opened the windows bob and he felt a strong gust of wind he said he checked the weather channel to see if there were straight line winds in the area when that wasn't the case he called the sheriff's department to find out that this there was this gas leak it's a trans canada pipeline that broke uh, we don't know how this leak occurred um, but officers and officials are out here checking it out we will be pushing for answers on that but again 520 people evacuated from this area. No word yet when they will return. Uh, Bob, we've also just been told that the American Red Cross is wanting to help the people in this area and they'll be setting up a staging area. They're working on those details right now and as soon as we get that information, we'll pass it on to you. All right, Denise, thanks very much. And in